Hey guys, so I caught this a couple weeks ago, the story of Cain and Abel, right? So Cain and Abel both brought an offering to the Lord and it says that Cain was angry that God did not receive his sacrifice and that um, Abel's was pleasing to the Lord because it was done in faith. So what's the difference between two people that are coming to church and they're both doing the right thing and they're both doctrinally accurate, but one is frustrated and one is walking away in the blessing of God with the breakthrough that they need. And what's the difference? When two people show up to the same church and sit under the same teachings and do all the right things, they come in and they do the law, they hear the word of God and they're doing what they're being told is the right thing to do from the platform. But I know, <laughs> I can't speak for everybody. I, I was the frustrated person. I was the cane. I was the one that was frustrated with God that I was doing everything right. I was doing the internship. I was doing discipleship. I was doing my ministry. I was faithfully attending church. I was doing my tithing. To what? 10 years later to leave frustrated and broken still bound and backslide terribly. So what's the difference between Cain and Abel then? If they were both technically doing the right thing, why was Cain angry that God didn't receive his sacrifice and why didn't God receive it? Well, it says Abel did his by faith, which means he heard God, which means there was a relationship aspect that potentially Cain was missing out on because when you hear God speak, that's when faith comes. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. The rhema word of God is when you're hearing God real time speak to you and you're responding to that in obedience, that's the work of faith. And that's why it was pleasing to the Lord. And with Cain, he brought an offering because it's what he was, because it's the right thing to do. He's, he's observing that an offering to the Lord is the right thing to do. But if he's not responding to what God is speaking to him, he's not in faith. See, and it says, the Lord told him, he said, he said, why is your countenance so low if you do so, if you do well? And it says, sin is at the door and his desire is for you if you do not do well. And it's like, well, what was wrong? If I did, if I'm supposed to give and I'm supposed to tithe and I'm supposed to show up to my ministry and I'm supposed to do all these things. Why, why is sin at the door? And it's desire for me. And I believe this is what the Lord was showing me in this. It's not sin lies at the door as in your old life or you know temptations to act out immorally or you know do all these acts of debauchery sin is when you're not doing something in faith and you're trying to do it in your own power it's the works-based relationship that god despises i believe when we're in there trying to earn our righteousness not even realizing it we're not doing something in response to what father is speaking to us we're in there doing it because this is what the bible tells us to do and why go to this church and this is how we all function and this is what we're doing and i'm sh i'm doing and I'm doing and I'm doing and I'm not getting the results as if the doing is what's supposed to produce the results and I think that's just a tiny little tweak that needs to be made that can be such a huge game changer for so many people like I can I can't speak for everybody but I was Kane I was the one that did all the doing and walked away frustrated and bound and I know a lot of y'all are frustrated because I see you commenting on my posts like y'all are frustrated and this might be one of the reasons why I would just look into it if I were you I hope that this blesses somebody today